So today guys I'm going to guide you through this amazing secret space suit for Starfield as well as an amazing secret weapon you can easily miss. Now they are obtained from a late story mission called the Entangled so if you ain't at this spot yet or you don't want the story spoiled for you probably save the video and come back later. If you ain't really fussed about story details I'll try and keep it spoiler free as usual so keep watching. How's it going guys, my name's DPG and if you do enjoy the video leaving a like really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. Okay so this space suit is called the Nashina and it is very decent indeed. I won't call it the best in the game like many other people I'm seeing, that title probably belongs to the Starborn suits but it's still great gear you don't want to miss which you can easily do so. Also there is a weapon you can obtain within this same mission which I do insist on you getting because this thing is absolutely amazing, it's called the Experiment A7, it's a rare one of a kind super powerful shotgun but it is tied to dialogue choices so it is again easily missed. Okay so the mission here is a late story mission, it's called the Entangled and well it's by far the best mission I have played in the game. I won't spoil much for you but eventually guys you come to this point right here within the mission where you go to the Nishinu station and meet for the first time Ethan Hughes. Now as you quickly progress this mission you start to pop in and out of realities. What the? Easy! Easy! What the hell was that? Here just go with the flow and do as instructed. Uh, you will then pop into uh, another reality, this is what we call the burnt reality, um, this is where you first meet Raphael. Again just go with the flow and you will meet a few more NPCs like Dr Patel and Maria. Here just progress on. Now after all the popping in and out of the normal reality and the burnt reality, eventually guys you'll pop back into the normal reality after you spoke to Dr Patel and Maria a few times behind Ethan Hughes. This is your chance to get the experiment A7. What you should do here is create a save before talking to him because again you have one chance. If you don't persuade him to help you, you miss out on this weapon. So again, you need to persuade him to help you. Dialogue choices can be random but on screen now are exactly what I selected and he helped me and he gave me this weapon. So do as I do on screen now guys, if it helps you, great. Uh, sure. Yeah, let me get the doors. And done. Is there any? Uh, yes, Kataxi. The original survey team ran across them. The Kataxi in the other universe. I've got an experiment to think one of the engineers. Oh my god, you're serious, aren't you? Yeah, I hope so. I might be able to do that after all. Alright, yeah. It's never been field tested, but all yours. From this point you will progress on to talking to Dr Patel and Maria again and then you have to work your way through a kind of puzzle of going in and out of realities to make your way through to the research centre via distortions, it is pretty epic so yes I'll leave you to do that. Now eventually guys you will end up at this point, this is where the important stuff happens, again right here before you enter this room create a save. So to keep it brief, this room requires you to engage and disengage into Lux, with the outcome meaning one of the realities will cease to exist, depending on your choices. Now there are 7 terminals in total within this room where you have to disengage and engage them, these interlux are all very very important. But guys, there is a way to save both realities and that is what this guide will do for you today, I will guide you into saving both realities. Now what I will say is, the Nashina spacesuit, that legendary gear uh, is given to you upon you just saving a normal reality but if you want to save both realities this is what you got to do. So after you've made that save, enter this area within that burnt reality and take out the enemies within here. 
Then use any distortion within this area to go back into the normal reality and again take out the robots and turrets if they are trying to seek you out. From this point you need to do exactly as I say. So you are in the normal reality right now, you need to come to this corner of the room. You will see Raphael dead. You need to search his body and collect that probe calibration protocol. Now you can read this protocol from your inventory if you want to but it doesn't really matter as I will explain everything you need to do here. So from this point guys use the distortion to go back into that burnt reality as this compute room that you need to get to is only accessible within the burnt reality. So go into this room guys and take out the enemies that are in here, they may be lurking behind you. You then guys need to access the lab control computer and then go to the degaussing folder. Here you need to press and initiate uh, the process and then press back once. You will see text that says the following power interlocks require degaussing. Now yours can be different to mine in regards to numbers seen here. Mine are 267, yours could be anything between 1 and 7. But these numbers you must remember as these are the interlocks you need to interact with. So remember these guys, these are very very important. Now what I will say is you don't have to interact with these interlocks in number order, so keep that in mind. So with your interlock numbers in mind, head to said interlocks, which are labelled by numbers when you get close to them. If you go to an interlock which isn't one of your numbers, do not press on it. So when you get to your numbers guys, it's important that you disengage it and then wait a second and then engage it. So you're pressing it twice. This is very, very important. So you first disengage it, then wait a second, then you engage it. So the light is green. You need to do this for all power interlocks represented by the numbers the lab control computer stated. Now once you have done this guys, head back to that lab control computer within that computer room. Then go back into the computer and click on degaussing. It should say here status complete. From here guys you need to enter the distortion within the computer room and go back into that normal reality. Then guys you want to go back to that lab control computer. Here again click on it and go to that degaussing folder and then initiate it, press back once. These numbers you need to remember yet again whatever they are because we are going to do the same thing we just did in that burnt reality but this time within a normal reality. So with these numbers in mind you need to go back into the burnt reality to get out of the computer room. So once outside of the computer room, enter back into a distortion to go back into the normal reality. Again here guys, find those interlocks represented by your numbers. And again guys, disengage them, wait a second and then engage them so the light is green. Once you have done this guys, enter the burnt reality again to get back into that computer room.
Once inside the computer room, enter the distortion to go back into that normal reality. Then guys go back to that lab control computer. Select the, the Gaussian folder and again it should say a status complete. From here guys, back out of the lab control computer and then re-enter the lab control computer. Here guys, you need to go to the frequency calibration folder and initiate it. Then press back once. You will see different frequencies. Here, with you being in the normal reality, scroll down to the bottom and select 40 gigahertz. Then guys back out of this lab control computer and enter the burnt reality. Then go back into the lab control computer, select the frequency calibration folder, initiate it, press back once and select 24 gigahertz. From here guys, back out of this lab control computer and make your way as I do to the primary lab calibration control and activate it. Pressing it just once by the way, nothing actually happens so make sure you have your sound on so you can hear that click upon you pressing it that one time. Then guys enter the distortion right behind you, go back into that normal reality and again activate the primary lab calibration control by pressing the activate button just once. And while well, guys from this point, the mission is done. You will then, after this awesome cutscene that we see a couple of times when we get them artifacts, um, you'll see an amazing cutscene, you'll speak to Dr. Patel, Maria and Raphael, and eventually guys, after about a couple of minutes of all these dialogues popping up on your screen, you will be awarded this amazing legendary gear. And there we have it guys. A full guide on how you can save both realities. Now what I will say is, the legendary gear like I said earlier on in the video is rewarded to you if you just save the normal reality. But I do have a feeling in saving both realities, uh, something will unlock further on down the line which obviously wouldn't be there if you only save one of the two realities. Something you could miss out on. So I definitely recommend guys, you follow this guide and save both realities. And there we have it. Guys, if you enjoyed the video, leaving a like really helps out. If you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. And hopefully, guys, I will see you on that next one.